we've regressed back. We've gone back to the old days. The old days of the Moera, where when, whenever a Kenyan used to speak, you have to look behind your shoulders to see whether someone else is listening. We are no longer like an independent country. This is a state which is capture, captured. Parliament has been gagged. We have seen it. Bills are being enforced on Kenyans. Whether, whether there, is, there, there is absolutely no substantive debate that takes place in Parliament. Members of Parliament have been arrested here. You cannot arrest, uh, you, you, you can arrest, you can question, but a public figure like the Speaker of the Count Assembly of Kilifi, while he is uh, conducting what he believes is his constitutional right to, 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 to picket and present a petition, is arrested. While a member of parliament for Kilifi South, Ken Chonga, is exercising as a leader. They have been arrested now, since yesterday. They've been taken to court this morning or this afternoon on an offense that is a misdemeanor. So I would urge, I would urge those people who are controlling power now. There is tomorrow. And leadership changes. They wouldn't want us to do what they are doing to us. Kila nikisikiza watu wanasema kuna haki ya kuandamana kuna haki ya picketing na haki ya kufanya hiki na kile na mimi ninajua kila haki ina power limit ikiachwa yote hivyo haki hiyo inakuwa upotofu ya kwamba naomba serikali serikali katika vitengo vihusikanavyo watengeneze mwongozo si kwa ajili ya maandamano haya lakini kwa kesho na kesho kutwa watengeneze muongozo waseme kuna uhuru wa maandamano na picketing na limit yake ni hii ili ukivuka limit hiyo uwe umefanya uhalifu na pili limit hiyo iseme ikiwa kutatokea uhasama uharibifu wa mali wenye kuandaa ama viongozi wa maandamano wa take full responsibility wawajibike kabisa